Running Rhino by Wendy Hadithi and Adrian Kenaway. On the great African plain, Rhino was running. Rhino was so short-sighted, he ran at anything that moved. When Rhino ran, all the animals had to get out of his way. By the rushing river, Crocodile got covered in mud as Rhino raced through the shallow water. And on the dry and dusty plain, Thick Bird got knocked out of her nest as Rhino ran by. In the great forest, Bushpeg ran for cover as Rhino rushed under the trees. In the shade of the umbrella tree, Lion got covered in dust as Rhino came to a sudden stop. Rhino, you can't go on running about like this, said Lion. Everyone wants you to stop. I don't want to, said Rhino, and I won't. I challenge anyone to stop me. Then a challenge it is, agreed Lion. I will call a meeting of the animals. All the animals gathered on the great African plain. Rhino has called for a challenge, announced Lion. Who wants to stop him running? The animals stayed silent. Even Elephant didn't want to challenge Rhino and his long, sharp horn. I will challenge Rhino, said Tickbird quietly. All the animals looked at Tickbird in surprise. If I win, said Tickbird, Rhino must go and live on the steep, stony slopes and leave us all in peace. If I run, snorted Rhino, I will run and run even more. And what is your challenge, Tickbird? asked Lion. I challenge Rhino to a fight at sunrise tomorrow, said Tickbird. The animals all opened their eyes very wide. Ha! Huh. That's silly, Rhino snorted. You can bring a hundred friends to help you, and you still won't win. But I only need three friends to beat you, said Tickbird. That evening, Rhino began to worry. Who would Tickbird's three friends be? Down by the rushing river, he met Crocodile and Hippo and Python. Has Tickbird asked you for help? He said. No, we haven't seen her, they replied. In the great forest, Rhino met Giraffe and Buffalo and Elephant. Has Tickbird asked you for help? He said. No, we haven't seen her, they replied. Rhino stopped worrying and went to sleep. The next day, all the animals gathered on the great African plain. The sun was showing, but Tickbird was nowhere to be seen. Of course, Tickbird isn't coming. Rhino snorted. She is too scared. But just then, Tickbird arrived. She was carrying three tiny gourds. The sun is rising. The challenge begins, announced Lion. Rhino stamped and puffed loudly and rushed at Tickbird with a massive snort. Tickbird tipped over one of the little gourds and out came Mosquito. Mosquito flew to Rhino and bit him on his nose. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
yelled Rhino, skidding to a halt. Do you give up? called Thick Bird. No, snorted Rhino. Thick Bird emptied the second gourd and out came Bee. Bee stung Rhino on his ears and his tail. Oot! yelled Rhino, running round in circles. Do you give up? called Thick Bird. Never! snorted Rhino. Then Thick Bird tipped over the last gourd and out came Ant. Ant crawled up Rhino's leg and bit him behind his knee, under his tummy and even on his horn. Hey, stop it! I give up! yelled Rhino rolling in the dust to try and stop the dreadful itching and tickling. Tick bird wins, announced Lion to the cheering crowd. Now Rhino must live on the steep stony slopes and leave us in peace. Rhino stumped off all itchy and screechy and cross, but Tick bird flew after him. I will sit here on your back now and then, said Tick Bird kindly. And I will peck you to show I am here. And I will always warn you if there is danger. Hump, puffed Rhino. Then you won't have to run all over the place all the time, agreed, said Tick Bird. Agreed, snorted Rhino. And nowadays Rhino wanders by himself on the steep stony slopes. He still wants to run at anything that moves. But Thick Bird sits on his back and gives Rhino a tiny peck. Then Rhino calms down and carries on happily eating grass. The end.